is happening guys? We are Craig and Amy and you are watching King and It. And this is our Mercedes Vario 814 from 2001 named Custard. We always wanted to build a van that was like traveling in a tiny home. Somewhere where we could have hot showers, work, record our podcast, sleep comfortably, and be independent, fully grown adults. When we were looking for buses, we didn't do that much research, but we knew we loved the shape of a Mercedes Vario. If you're gonna buy a van, don't do what we did. We basically won it on eBay without viewing it, and it had a lot of surprises. There's a big hole in the bus. And if you've ever wondered what it feels like to win a bus on eBay, this is what it's like. There's no MOT, which I've never, ever, ever bought anything without an MOT because I've been advised not to by my parents. Oh, man, okay, my one minute left. One minute so left. Hard. Watch out, all the bids will roll in now, right? Right in your bid. Is this the right idea? Are we is this the right idea? 3,651. Yeah. 3,6. Oh! Your bid. I bid. That's me. Taking on such a mighty mission, like renovating a bus, is a monster task. We made that task even harder by giving ourselves only six weeks to do it so that we could travel through Europe before the end of summer. Somehow, with the help from friends and family, long, long days, stress, tears and hard graft, we managed to get it somewhat finished. In that six weeks renovation, we actually managed to get it looking really pretty, but there was a lot of things missing, a lot of things we didn't have time to install. Even though the bus wasn't fully finished, we took it around Europe for seven weeks and had the time of our lives. <laughs> At the end of our Euro trip, our exhaust flew off on the Switzerland highway. That was when we knew it was time to sort the bodywork. <laughs> we spent the next 10 months making this van everything we wanted. If you get a van, be prepared to be part of the Skint Club. Luckily, as we renovated it over a long period of time, we managed to pay for it in stages. There were multiple hiccups along the way, and somehow we were still working full days, even up until the day before we left for our Scotland trip. First, we had to get rid of all of the rust and rebuild the panels. Once that was done, we had it resprayed, ready for a brand new wrap. As much as we loved the vintage yellow colour, we had another vision for it to look like a retro bus from the 60s. Now this is what she looks like from the outside. Obviously we went for the Versace rich person's wallpaper type look. And um, if you see in the light, the way the light shines, we've got gloss crowns. We also had the wheels sandblasted and resprayed, so now the outside looks bloody marvellous. Custard is finished and she is ready to travel in full time. Let me show you around. Welcome to the cab lads. This is the captain's chair. I actually had to get a, another license for this bus because it's so bloody heavy. So it fully laid and it was like seven and a half tons, but we had a weight, she weighs about five. So this is where I sit on our road trips. Um, we did, when we did the first renovation, we used dark four-way carpet and it made it look really dingy in here. So on the second renovation, we chose this wheat stuff to lighten the cab a bit. So we've got, Stereo here, we've got our open and close for the door. 
Uh, we've actually got remnants of custard here as well. So we kept the yellow in just as, as like an ode to the old custard. We wanted to keep some of the retro stuff in custard, such as this dodgy colour blue and this walnut dash. <laughs> I think it looks great. My mum also upholstered all of this. This used to be blue as well. I can't even remember what colour that was. It like lightens up the whole place. One of my favourite parts about the cab is the curtain. When you pull this across, it shuts off the cab and you could be anywhere on planet Earth. Vital piece of kit if you've got a big vehicle. We've got a reverse camera installed, which is from Halo View, and that's a lifesaver. Another thing we went for was this hard wearing carpet. We wanted it to be like a, a warm welcome when you come into the bus. Storage wise in the front, it's quite a lot of room actually. So this one is actually where the drone lives when we're driving about. If you want to get a drone shot, we just whip it out of there. This one is a fitness cupboard, yet to be used. <laughs> but in here we've got all, oh, this is what Amy does. Oh, don't remember that, don't remember them. What are they doing in there? They're not for fitness. Lush they are, I love that. So we've got like, kettlebells and there's like first aid kit and stuff like that all of the essentials moving on to the co-pilot seat this is captain b's little number fantastic seat there didn't have a box there before see my box built that from scratch and the shelf put that shelf in not only is it a box we, we saw all of our shoes in here well i've got one pair the rest is amy's but it doubles up as a footrest so when that comes down Amy's feet go on there when we're driving about. So this is my fan. We don't have any kind of a AC machine in this van. So um, whenever it's hot, I've got no airflow. It does get quite warm in the bus. This is my cup holder, which was custom made. It's got a little crown on it and it fits me coffee cup in just fantastic. Cheers, Doug. Brilliant, thank you, Doug. Yeah, this is the shelf that Craig built that he's very, very proud of. Um, you've got your USBs down here and a cigarette lighter, which we had to install because I actually bought this with a cigarette lighter and we didn't have one. Just uh, put that over there. <laughs> so there's also a bunch of light switches here for the bus. We've also got one at the back. So when we go to sleep, we don't have to run down here to switch them off. Loads of plug sockets. You just plug your phone in, edit your Instagram pictures while you're on the move. So we thought we'd be a bit sassy, a bit cool, do a little nautical number with some rope going down our pole. And the first person that came in was like, oh, you've got a cat. <laughs> oh, brilliant. No, Gary, that is, is that not cool? I thought it was cool. Found yeah, on Pinterest. Feels nice, doesn't it? Yeah. And just past the pole is the little ode to our friend Braveheart who was a mouse that we met when we were renovating the bus in a farmyard, um, who he didn't make it, bless him, he was very young, but we tried, didn't we? Tried to save him, yeah. yeah. Rest in peace, Braveheart. Over to this section, we have two little hooks with our names on it, just in case we forget whose is who. So when we come in, we just check our coats up. My coat was actually on there, but Amy was like, your coat's too ugly for the van tour. So they're actually <laughs> both Amy's. I literally did they say did. that. <laughs> You're an animal. Anyway, moving on. My favorite wallpaper ever. We waited ages for it. It's from France. You're a knob. No. <laughs> I'm not an odd because I said it was from France because it came all the way from France. I thought that was a really cool thing, but Craig's like... In here, obviously, is the bathroom, but we'll show you that later. So moving on to the kitchen. We decided IKEA was the way forward. Cheap and cheerful, and it looks lovely. It's got like that cottagey feel on the doors. We got the big Belfast sink, and we decided later on in the renovation that she needed some tiles to sort of make it into a kitchen area, you know, it brings it all together, stops the splash back on that, and when we're making curries, it ain't halfway up the wall. You could have cleaned up a bit better, Craig. Mm -hmm. This is our two burner hob, uh, which we had vertical to begin with, and then somebody mentioned that it was actually illegal to be too close to the wall. So we've had this put in and we've changed it round, which works much better, I think. This is our carbon monoxide detector, just in case we need to be safe. We decided to put lights under both of the shelves, just it gives a nice ambiance in the evenings. And if you wanna chop some veg late at night, there you go. We put the overhead shelves just for storing bits and bobs, teas and coffees usually, and obviously a shark puppet, because everybody needs a shark puppet in their van. Moving on to our fridge freezer, which we've just upgraded. So this is our CRX80 Dometic fridge, which is 78 litres, full of goodness. So yeah, it actually does have a fridge because we wanted to be quite posh 
and if you came round, we wanted to be able to offer you a drink with some ice, some um, some fish ice, because that's super cool. I won't show you what's in there, because every time we open it, I'm like, Craig, have you farted? <laughs> <laughs> Just next to that, we've got this little, oh. <laughs> This is the cleaning cupboard, basically. It's got all the cleaning essentials, all the bleach, everything we need to wipe down all the surfaces and the bin. And of course, fake moustaches for a rainy day. A great tip if you've got a van and you've got cupboards is these little black catches. Before we add them, when you turned the bus, all the cutlery would fly out and it would scare the living bejesus out of us. So these, these are a must have. <laughs> This little beautiful number is our Thetford oven, which is fantastic for making beautiful baked goods. And pizza. We had pizza the other night. It's crumbs today then. You are, you could have cleaned it, Craig. You're doing a van tour, like you could have cleaned it. <laughs> because you're nosy buggers, I know you're gonna wanna see what's in our drawers. So in the bottom one, we've got things like pots and pans, bowls, plates, your usual. Also, another great tip if you're gonna get a van is to get one of these collapsible colanders. What was it, a pound? Super cheap folds away nicely, just pop it in there and then it goes away, lovely. Top drawer we have all the cutlery and all the essentials with a couple of cups and we also got some collapsible cups which are really cool for storing away. We can also put them down small, put a bit of water in, pop them in the freezer. So when you come back then you'll have ice for your drink. I'm such a genius Craig. thought of that one myself. Talking of collapsible, I did forget this which just sits on top of our fridge one of them. Oh, there we are. Do your dishes. Beautiful tap. This silver one is a filtered water tap, which you can get filtered water from, believe it or not. No way. <laughs> no, I'm are not. you kidding me? I am not even lying. That's mad. And lads, also, we've done it. We've got hot water in custard. Thank the Lord is here. Moving along, in these two cupboards, this is where we keep all of our food. So uh, we did a big shop before we came, obviously. It's a bit, it's a bit full in there, so we'll just, leave, we'll just leave that back there for now. Uh, but this is where we keep all of our food and our crumpets for the morning, for breakfast. We've also got inside here is our water heater. This is a nine litre Carver water heater, which is probably older than my nan, but it works a treat. Apart from the pipe blown up this morning and there was water everywhere. The pipes just burst. Did you buy this? Cause your mum told you to. Or did my mum tell you to? Probably your mum. So we've got a fire blanket because um, we get a bit mad. We have some mad curries, don't we? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and it is powerful, our two hob burner. It's powerful. So fire blanket. We've also got an extinguisher that we keep in there, just in case. Tell me about my rice cooker. I knew you were going to point it out. Look at that. Another top tip if you are a van lifer, a rice cooker will do you well. I tell you what, you were laughing at me and now you love it. It is brilliant. It doesn't take up too much energy either, does it? No. Fantastic fluffy rice in 10 minutes. <laughs> Welcome to the living room or the living quarters where we spend most of our time. This is my favourite part, probably because of the surfboard feature. There'll be wax on it this afternoon, lads. Don't worry about that. Yeah, boy. So I actually saw this on Instagram, so it's rigged up. You could probably put a few boards up there as well, which is awesome. Uh, and then it's just tied on by this rope. So we've got a huge seat this side, and then a smaller seat that side. Underneath this seat, we've got a huge 3000 watt inverter, uh, and our batteries live there, but we'll tell you about that at the end. This actually pulls out into a bed. If you're really small, you can have a sleepover with us. <laughs> it if you're a borrower, <laughs> you're feel free. If you're a borrower. So this actually comes down. We've got another catch here because this always used to pop open. The batteries are boxed in here. The inverter's there. We've got a small bit of storage here, which Amy keeps like bits and bobs. Hey, Judy Garland, she got me next. This is Judy, Judy Garland. Yeah. Amy handmade this herself. Handcrafted, Craig, look at the workmanship on that. That bit's broken because the boys broke it. For those of you wondering why I've got a bit of a crooked neck, I'm six foot oh. uh, so I can't quite stand up in the bus <laughs> but I've got a safe place which is in the middle by the skylight where the skylight is so I can which is perfect because I can yeah. cook here I can make teas and coffees I can do the dishes so it's fine. The smaller seat it's got a few features that I like one of them being the heater is here you've got a diesel heater the on button is there and then the vent comes out of the bottom of the seat. And I tell you what, 
when you close the curtain and we've got our covers on the windows, it is like a little sauna in here, isn't it? Beautiful it's Sundays, so yeah. So cozy. Got a little. Who made that? That's a Matalan special, that one. Matalan special, baby. <laughs> also, we've got our switch for the hot water, which is um, just a little switch. Flick it on. Twenty minutes later, nine liters of red hot water. So yeah, more storage in here, which is really convenient. So we just put stuff in there that we need every day. We didn't mention this before, but we've actually got two speakers in the front and two speakers this side in the ceiling. And you can link up your phone to it and just play music throughout the bus. Yeah. It's lovely. Last time we renovated a bus, we had a pull-out table that came from our bed. But our bed was so high that it kind of took over all the windows and we didn't like it. So we've dropped the bed down and we had to come up with a new idea. So our mate Steve built us this table. So you're probably thinking, well, where's the table? Where is it hidden? Let me show you. <laughs> Take off this little lid here. Table comes out. Oh, look at that fine bit of, what is that? I think it's oak. Oak, oak, that's right. And then we've got these two little spectacular handles that just slide in here, just like that. And then there's runners on the bottom of the table and then it just pops on the top. Hey presto. So not only can we both sit here and edit, it fits both of our laptops and our hard drives, but we can have dinner here, and eventually we want to have the podcast in the bus, so we'll be able to have a full podcast set up with microphones and headphones. you got a podcast? i got a podcast. What's mate? your podcast channel? It's uh, King In It, the travel podcast. Check it out. Cancho! Oh, <laughs> not on the van tour now, come on. <laughs> Welcome to the bedroom. This is our small double Otty mattress bed. If you're going to get a mattress, we can highly recommend Otty. Brilliant. We never ever want to get out of this. The first thing you're probably wondering is what the hell is that? Well, my friends, that is a projector. We have got a Magnasonic projector mini, which attaches to the, the ceiling. Picture this. It's raining outside. You can hear the rain on the top of the bus got the heating on it's super cozy inside candles throws all of it you can put a film on and watch it in bed on the full projector screen this is our reading light Craig said I asked for it to be wonky but I definitely didn't looks fine to me these are our ring blommer blinds which are magnetic and they work really well for if you're in a van quick access down and up hey presto so this is our OnlyFans camera. <laughs> I'm joking. This is our security camera. It's called RioLink. So whenever we go out, we connect it to the Wi-Fi and we can see if there's any dodgy people in our van. It also sends off a massive screaming alarm if you walk in this bus and you're not supposed to be here. As I mentioned before, we've got a set of light switches at the back here so we don't have to run down the bus in our pants to turn off the lights. We've also got some extra USBs. We've got some lovely thick curtains, which keep in the heat. And this is the library. So we've got a full on um, three book library in our van, which I don't think anybody else has got. <laughs> Overhead storage. You can't look in there because Craig's got his pants in there. I got my pants in there. One of the main lifesavers when we went to Europe last year in this bus and it was absolutely boiling was this fan. So this is a Fiamma turbo vent, which lets in cold air or sucks the air out when you're cooking those m mad curries or if Craig's farted in bed. Well, here at the back on the side of our bed, we've got an emergency door and an emergency hammer. Just in case like anything blows up in the middle of the night, we can have a quick escape. For our main storage, this whole bed lifts up on gas struts and we've got all of our stuff under there. It's a bit messy at the minute and the gas struts don't really work that well. So at the minute, we're kind of holding it up with the monopod, which isn't great, it's not ideal, but we'll get it fixed. There is a safe somewhere in the bus. Did I just spit? <laughs> and it's bolted to the floor, so you're never gonna get in it. Never gonna. And you're never gonna take it. And we're not gonna tell you where it is either, so. Moving on to the bathroom, oh, which is girl. oh mate, what a space this is! I'm so stuck with this. Starting with this lovely wallpaper. Oh, that is gorgeous. Which is like textured. It looks like a big shell from the beach. Yeah. It's nice, that, isn't it? Yeah, we did ourselves, didn't we? We're very proud. We did ourselves. Took us about 45 minutes. <laughs> so it's on a little runner here. We've got a shower with a mixer tap. We've also got a custom epoxy resin floor that our mate Jordan put in. Oh my days! So it's got the king in it, crowns in it. We've also got like a little wooden tray for us to stand on. 
The pattern actually matches the wrap of the bus, but we just inverted the colours because we're smart like that. Oh, so. it just ties in lovely, doesn't it? We've got a Thetford porta potty, which works, but I wouldn't recommend it. The problem with uh, porta potties is they smell quite quickly. And when you're like peeing and pooping in it, it fills up really fast. If I was going to get another one, I'd get one that splits them. So you can just empty the pee easily. Mm -hmm. And then you, the, with the compost and toilets, you can just put, put the poo in the bin. Nice. But with this, we have to find campsites to empty it. First time Amy emptied that, she got pink eye. <laughs> it went in my eye. <laughs> oh! oh, I think it smashed me in the eye, Craig. Oh. Shower curtain. The door has got a handle on both sides. We've also got a lovely IKEA mirror and a hang it and a basket for storing shampoos and bits and bobs. There's also one here as well and a little soap holder. That's cute, isn't it? The other thing we've put in here is a vent so that when you do shower, all the steam goes out. Is that what it's for? Yeah, the shower steam. <laughs> wow. We bought this plastic bathroom wall stuff. It's like fake tile stuff, but it dents quite easily. That's the only problem. We did put waterproof paint on the ceiling as well, uh, but it's coming away a little bit, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> we'll finish that later. You might be thinking, how do we power this beautiful green machine? Well, without going into too much detail, I'll tell you. Basically, we've got three lithium batteries, a 3000 watt inverter, solar panels, and a B2B charger, which charges the batteries whilst we drive. We also added in a Victron Smart Shunt. So we've got Victron solar charger. This thing's a bit retro, so. Uh, Honestly, the amount of things that are older than my nan in this bus. But it works, you know, this is all of our 12 volt and our 240 goes through this PMS3 controller, which is vintage, but it does work. Our, <laughs> our water pump is linked up to this as well. We've got an isolator switch here, which we can flick from the inverter or to the 240 hookup. That's about it. There's 310 watts of solar on the roof. There's three separate panels. And then, yeah, we've got Victron solar charger, Victron B2B chargers, uh, Victron inverter, and KS Energy batteries. They're all supposed to be the best, aren't they? It's supposed to be the best of the best. Like, you don't want to dip out on your lecky. Honestly, though, if you're going to do your electrics in your van or your bus or whatever, go all out on the first round because we scrimped on our first one. We had lead acid batteries. Yeah. We had um, a really cheap solar charge controller, which was crap. Um, and the, the, the upgrade just been insane. Like we can literally drive for 20 minutes and last like a whole day just off the power from the car driving. It's mad. And the best part about these is that all the Victron stuff is Bluetooth. So you can go on the app. It'll tell you like how much battery you've got left in percentage how much wattage is going in, how much you're using on, on your straighteners and that. You're such a geek. You're still talking, yeah. One last piece we're gonna show you is the boot. It's not called a garage. A garage. Even if you've got a motorhome, it's not a garage or a garage. It's a f boot, mate. No. <laughs> the boot is where our gas lives. Now we upgraded this last time we had like a, a little? <laughs> we had a little camping gas <laughs> bottle which was in our cupboard with no dropouts or anything. It was highly dangerous. Highly flammable. But now we've got Gasset. So apparently you can use these all over Europe and it's got a hookup on the side of the bus and you just push it in with like a little tubey thing, fill up your gas and then that keeps you going. It's massive and it costs about 10 quid to fill that whole gas bottle, yeah. which is so cheap. Those little bottles are like 36 pounds. So the gas is what we use for our hob, our oven and our hot water heater. Um, so that should keep us going for a long time. Fiamma water pump, which loads all of our pipes. And we've got an accumulator as well, which is only about 30 quid, but it just stops the constant buzzing and flashing of lights when you're running water. Also got a couple of tools, a couple of power oh, tools. Oh, here you he know. goes. If you ever need anything chopping, just give me a shout. <laughs> we've got a 210 litre water tank, which is more than enough if you're showering and washing dishes and whatnot. We've got three switches here for all of our gas appliances. So if we do have a leak, hopefully we don't, we can sort of isolate them all and figure out what's going on. Yeah, basically it's just tools. We've got some um, leveling ramps, which have been actually amazing. And this thing here is our King In It fire pit, which is also incredible. So this is it in action. Surprisingly, we keep quite a lot in here. This is what we keep in the boot. 
And if I'm gonna sell anything to you today from this video, let it be one of these. <laughs> so these are our scooters called Harry and Marv. They're electric scooters. And when you camp in a campsite and you wanna go into the city, but your bus is too big, just get one of these. They're super fast. We've also got two wetsuits for swimming in. We've got a set up a little camping table and chairs for if we want to have pancakes in the morning outside. And we've got, we've got a diesel jerry can because we did break down the other day because we didn't have enough diesel in her. But it isn't actually full yet, so we probably need to get that full. And a skateboard. One of our favorite features of our bus is that it turns into a mini cinema. One extra special piece of our van is our thermal screens that we've got for our windows. So not only do these make it amazing for our cinema nights because they just black everything out, but they keep the heat in. Honestly, it's incredible. People were like, you should tint the windows, but we knew this is what we wanted as a setup. And when you put these on, you can't feel any cold coming through them. We got these bad boys from Fuel Lagoon. That is it lads, thank you so much for watching our van tour. We're so happy with how Custard looks now and we're actually in her full time. We've driven her all the way to bloody Scotland. Scotland, if you couldn't already tell. <sighs> yeah, thanks for watching guys. And if you don't know us, then you probably don't know that Custard hasn't been the only challenge that we videoed on YouTube. So last year we actually bought a rickshaw in the north of India and drove her all the way down to the south. We shipped it back and uh, let's just say she didn't quite make it home. Amy flipped it. I, oh, <laughs> Craig drives it 3,000 miles across India. I get home on the Welsh roads, have five minutes on it, flipped the whole thing, didn't I? We also did the Mongol rally, so if you want to watch that documentary, click up here. Yeah, if you've got like a spare Friday, it's a really good watch, and I'm not just saying that because we made the film, but yeah, it is really good. So stay tuned for our Scotland series, which will be coming soon. And uh, wish us luck on full time in Custard the Bus on the road. And make sure guys, no matter where you are, who you are, what you're doing, you always rule your own world. One, two, three, bye. bye.